My name is Sefas Esefulansa Esquire. I'm a lawyer with Human Rights Commission, and Commission on Human Rights and Administrative Justice, Ghana. We've known in um, for some time now. We have uh, involved ourselves in uh, issues involving gay beats, the vulnerable groups in. I know Inarela is one of the uh, NGOs or organizations who have been helping and um, search to. So uh, Inarela has been uh, contacting us through their executive uh, secretary and MC. Uh, we've been uh, assisting them in terms of um, uh, legal matters, advising and uh, assisting them when necessary to, to go to court. We are unable to uh, prosecute successfully matters going to court because of uh, lack of uh, financial resources. We have been assisting in the uh, with advising uh, level and anything that has to do with uh, legal issues. Also deal with uh, counseling aspect. We have known uh, Narella for its work as assisting um, some of the vulnerable um, groups that we have in Ghana who with HIV, TB. There are some also who um, are in the um, some. Uh, deprived communities that we know that uh, through other uh, NGOs or some funds they, they receive in assisting these people and we give them some form of support rather help them go with that kind of uh, distributing those items to members and all that. So we have been involved in uh, matters that Nerella uh, is uh, concerned. I came in contact with Nerella uh, Dana about two years to three years ago. Um, my name work with them is to counsel those affected, especially the women, on the issue of uh, when they are having to, when maybe they are depressed or traumatized in various ways. I equally train the pastors and the queen mothers and opinion leaders. We sensitize them on sexual and gender violence issues. And then we also offer counseling to, as I said, the vulnerable ones. We have had a series of counseling with a lot of women, but seriously speaking, people have issues. The communities, in fact, they need a lot of education how best they can even secure their own lives in their own homes. How, if a man is uh, abusing them, how they are supposed to come out and all that. This issue of stigma and all that. We need to address it. We have had a series of counseling for the vulnerable, especially the women. The men, it has been just about one or two, but for the women, mostly we in a month, we will have about three to four cases that we attend. If they need referral to, we do well. And we do a follow-up. We don't just counsel them and then we leave it. We do a follow-up to see how best they are, uh, I mean, moving on with life. If things have changed in their lives, so or if they need any assistance, we also do a follow-up to check on them. So we don't just leave them after the encounter. We continue with the process. So 
we see that oh, now they are on their feet and they are working. Uh, well, yeah. So I think in Nara they are doing their best. Recently we had a menstrual hygiene day, which we went out and it was fun. The students, they enjoyed it. We went to three schools and we even taught the men how to even use a pad in case, in case they are to teach their younger sisters on how to use them. It was so exciting. So I think in the right they are doing their best. And but we need to do more. That is all we are asking. We need to do more. But the communities we haven't covered much. Uh, we need to. And it's all about boils down to funds. The queen mothers are doing their best. The paralegals are also doing their best. The champions are also doing their best. But this same issue of stigma is the problem. Coming out, sometimes they fear. That was a case that the child was raped. I cancelled the mother, I cancelled the grandmother. And then we, we, she was ready to come all of a sudden. She changed her mind. And it was so difficult for taking the case because she wasn't coming forth. And it was a difficult case. And even now we are still struggling to convince the woman. So this stigma thing, a whole lot of whether they are afraid or we don't know. But the, at least we have a lawyer who is going to assist you to get justice for your child. But the, the child is a minor. And he needs the, uh, the consent of the, the, of the mother. And if the mother is running away, what do you do? So these are some of the challenges. Has, and as I said, problems are in the, in, the, in the system. People are getting depressed every day, traumatized because they are being raped, they are being sexually abused, and they don't want, they don't want to come out. So we need to go to the communities and then give them proper sensitize, sensitize them to come out. Because the law is there to 